tonight a plan that could lure more development to downtown Birmingham clears a final hurdle in the legislature. The historic tax credit program already helped major projects in the area like the Jefferson Hotel, the Lyric, and the Pazitz building. That is where CBS 42 News reporter Michael Clark joins us live tonight. And Michael, the city really is seeing the benefits of those renovations. Yeah, Sherry, I'll tell you, the business downtown tonight was booming this evening, and the Pazitz building was no exception. This is one of those that qualifies for that historic tax credit, which means it costs less to develop thanks to that credit renewed today. On this Friday night in downtown Birmingham, people are packing the Pazitz and the pavement around it. I had trouble parking tonight. I had to park four blocks away. Um, that's a great thing. The historic building is just one example of properties that qualified for a tax break over the last five years, an initiative that's encouraged developers to invest in older buildings in the heart of Magic City. There's been a tremendous amount of usage uh, of that credit. Uh, Birmingham had a total of 21 projects. Uh, by far, it was most across the state. Wayman Jackson and the Birmingham Business Alliance, among those who pushed lawmakers to renew the credit, paving the way for more projects to bring people back downtown. Yeah, I don't remember really coming down that much um, as a kid growing up, but I feel like there's a lot more stuff going on now. Without the historic tax credit, some areas could still be part of a developer's dream. When you think about the costs that actually go into uh, rehabbing an older facility, when you start thinking about you know, asbestos, uh, whether it's lead, paint, all those different things, uh, those add up. And oftentimes those margins uh, for redevelopment are, are very thin. Many people are glad Birmingham will be using his past as a part of the future. For that to be reborn and to have options, uh, both residential and food options, it's, it's a great thing for Birmingham. Now, all that's needed now for that renewal is Governor Kay Ivey's signature. Groups expect that to happen as early as next week. Reporting live downtown tonight, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.